All right, what's up guys? So I wanted to show you what it's like driving a stock 2020 Supra versus driving a completely maxed out GT spec race converted Supra. Now we go from uh, 373 horsepower to 995 horsepower and we drop 900 freaking pounds. Um, it's it's a complete game changer. It really is. Like once you start maxing out these cars, like the aero kits and the suspension make the handling so much better. But anyway, um, we're gonna go through and like show you a comparison of how the car drives when it's stock versus how the car drives completely modified. Because a lot of people hate the handling of this. It's grown on me, like I've said in my other videos. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna get right into this. We're gonna do a uh, Shanghai Wusong chase. Uh, tuning is just going to be stock balanced. Uh, we have all of the assists off except for anti-lock brakes. That's how I've played this whole game. So here we go. Now, when I've, you know, driven the Evo 6, the R34, the 2020 Supra actually feels way better than the other car stock. But it can still get uh, a little loose. Like, see here? Not, not too much grip, but it does have, you know, more grip than most cars. I will give it that. You can see how it's kind of, you know, it slides a lot. Just wait till we get out that race converted Supra. You'll see, you'll see the difference. We'll do one lap in both cars. But uh, as you guys can tell, I have all of these cars maxed out. Um, I did find a money glitch. If you guys are interested in that video, I'll throw a card up top. Um, it doesn't work for everybody, but it does work for some people. I, you know, I don't know exactly how to get it to work. I just know that it continues to work for me. But out of all of like the stock, I guess, JDM cars, if you, that's what you want to call this, the Supra really, really feels good. It really does. And it's stock form. I don't, I, I, I literally just went through a max, like bought all the cars and maxed them out. Uh, I, I know I tested the Supra, but I didn't actually like drive around a track. I just kind of like saw what its top speed was. So it's gonna be interesting to see what this thing does. This thing is very drifty if you want it to be. All right, we did a 147. 147 at a stock Supra. Let's go change them out. All right, now the GT cars, once you do the race conversions, you have three tuning defaults you can select. Um, I'm gonna go with high grip for this course. You can mess with you know your own settings if you wish. Just look at this thing, insane. All right, here we go. We did what a 147. It just sounds insane. And the side exit exhaust, you'll you'll see the flames. Maybe you won't because it's not quite nighttime. Now it still can get you know sideways. But the way it feels, it just feels way more, you know, way grippier. I see some flames coming outside there. I have to do these at like night time so you guys can see the, the flames. Just listen to that thing. the braking, how it grips around like that. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's, it's just a night and day difference when you do the race conversions. Makes the game so much more enjoyable. I can blow through that with ease. And we have this boost option if we want. In 
insane. 15 seconds faster when you go from <laughs> a stock Supra to the race conversion. Can I get us some fire? Can I get a flame? All right, we should definitely be able to see the flames now. Now, most of the race converted cars have insane amounts of flames. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this replay, let you guys enjoy the engine sounds. I'll get out of here and uh, just see the flame shooting out of the exhaust. It's just insane, man. Absolutely insane. All right, there you have it. 2020 Supra, absolutely crazy. Um, it's just it's just wild. These race conversions maxed out and uh, doing races with other cars and just how they feel. It's just such a game changer. So uh, yeah, guys, there you go. 2020 Supra. It just it's a it's it's freaking mental, man. So anyway, guys, if you're new, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more race conversion builds like this, and uh, I'll be happy to throw some videos out. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.